as you guys wake up, all of you have an orb that is floating at your feet. What do you want to do? I attempt to pick up the orb. As you grab the orb, it starts to split. One half is showing symbols of holiness. The other half is showing sigils of demo uh, demonic arcane magic. A, a weapon falls out. It's just, it's just something hits the ground. Ding, 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 ding. And if you go ahead and look in Discord um, on general, or on uh, uh, Twisters and Dragons, you'll see the weapon that you get. I'm going to go outside I grab and it. grab the orb because I don't want to make you grab it if something happens. I don't know. All right. I grab it right over the breakfast table. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you, as you grab your orb, you see the whole the whole thing just turns red it's a dark blood red like it, it is it is leaking blood everywhere and you start seeing sigils it, the sigils just light up and you have no idea um go ahead and uh, roll a uh wisdom save 17 17 you get a piece of astral armor i go outside and open it okay as you grab it, um, can you roll a dexterity save for me? Natural 20. Oh shit, nice, oh. nice. So as you grab 26. your orb. 26, oh, wow, 26. technically. Oh, shit. Yeah. Cool, so as you grab your orb, it starts to grow fur on it. And it starts to have spider, like a webbing around the whole thing. All of a sudden it starts to crack. You get a bow. So I'm gonna go back up the stairs and around the corner just so that I'm alone, and then I'm gonna reach for my orb. Okay. As you reach for your orb, it it, it goes from shades of of blue and and red and just different colors of familiar tiefling skin. Go ahead and roll a dexterity uh, save for me. I got a seven. Seven. So as you uh, are just mesmerized and just so enthralled and the colors changing and you just get really familiar vibes of past tieflings you've had in your life that you've met and become friends with and you're just so enthralled in it. Horns, similar to yours and other tieflings you've seen, shoot out. And as you do this, it, 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 it hits your hands uh, and you take uh, four damage, four piercing damage. And Zell is just watching this and he's just, he's like, Bravo. You were brave enough to open the orbs. Not many people have wanted to do that, and they've been shy of doing it, but you now have things that will aid you in our journey. Anyone brave enough mm -hmm. to take me on a duel? Oh, Ooh. Hey, we, we, have a, we have a challenge in here? <laughs> oh, we haven't had one of these in a while! And, uh, like, the, the, the four bar patrons that were literally there from last night are still here and waking up. They're like, hey, yeah, yeah, let's see it! All right, let's see it! What are you guys doing? Are you guys just doing that in the middle of the bar? Let's take this outside where it's more civilized. Just remember, this isn't a fight to the death, just a fight till, eh, you know, you're incapacitated. And Zell looks at you all and he's like, all right, if we must do this, please, let's make it quick. What are you guys doing? Let's, wanna, uh, let's, let's see this little battle. All yeah, right, he's gonna strike first. Uh, what I need you both to do is I want you both to roll initiative. So roll your d20 to add your initiative. Oh, no. <laughs> Rita will fail. Is that a one? <laughs> yeah, I did. Alright, uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Alright, well, you get to go first. What are you doing? I'm going to cast Thunderclap. Yeah. Everybody that is outside right now oh, no. needs to make that roll. Wolfie uh, two. Wolfie two. So I need to roll two. Mm -hmm. And what was what the... What, uh, so D20 plus, uh, what do we need to do? What's the save? Constitution. Uh, saving throw. Okay. Oh. I got 9 it's to 13. 
And Zell rolled a nine. Mine's 16. Mine is two, and Wolfie's is 18. So I presume that Wolfie so far has succeeded the constitution save. That's how I rolled it, so I'm gonna give it to Wolfie. I wanna protect him. <laughs> how dare you start the thunder? Didn't you save? You? You've been thunderstruck. Everybody has been hit, except for, uh, I think, Wolfie succeeded. Yeah, you all get one damage. <laughs> oh, as uh, as you did that lightning, that that thunder, uh, thunder strike. Everybody else that's not part of the party, they're like, nope, fuck this, I don't want to take damage. They all they all run back inside and they like they like open the shutters, like they're trying to like everybody's like pushing each other away to like see what's going on outside. Wait, what's the D four? D four is the that spiky is one. Yeah, the, the yeah that one. Yeah, I've rolled this one before. It's very awkward. Um. So, is it the one that's pointing up? Is the number that counts? Correct. It's four. Yep. Okay, so four. you roll a four, plus uh, plus uh, plus two, I believe, because your proficiency. Just the yeah, spirit takes uh, takes six damage. Then I can cast Eldritch Blast. Cool. Oh damn. Um, the spirit just like points her hand and just yells Eldritch Blast. I'm actually going to use um, Paladin. The sword I just received, just to get the feel for it. Okay. I got a nat 20 plus 3. Uh, <laughs> so, you got a nat 20, okay. so actually, uh, go ahead and roll your damage. And you're gonna go ahead and, uh, not, this be times 2 because it's a crit hit. <laughs> Do you surrender? And as as this is going on, Enzel just looks at you and says, Alright, we, we need to go. No more Tom foolery, we need to go. Arsene, it was a good battle. Thank you for your effort. Uh, stand up, dust myself off, and walk away from you and not even acknowledge you. <laughs> <laughs> Hostility. You leave the ta tavern. Uh, as you all trove east, it starts uh, to get a little darker, but you still, you still see the sun in the air, and there is just a, a heavy, heavy fog rolling in. Enzel looks at all of you, and he says, Damn it, I was afraid of this. I thought we had a better chance of getting through it quicker. So as he as he says this, he looks at all you again and says, "Please stand back." He whips out his uh, he pull starts pulling his rapier, and it is a beautiful, beautiful, elegant weapon. It is the the blade is very, very thin with different sigils that you can't really uh, make out what they are. He pulls it out and he just he thrusts it up in the air, and as he thrusts the sword up in the air. All the sigils that are on the sword are just completely bright with a radiant-looking uh, 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 light glow to it. And then he he uh, pulls it back down. He swings it around in a complete 360, and he just makes a quick line in the ground right in front of him towards the, where the fog is coming in. And all of a sudden, you see just this heavy, heavy gust of wind just <sighs> see a path right through the fog. It's still dark. There's still fog around you, but you're able to make it completely through the fog with uh, with no hesitation. 